That is the Audi S8, the sporty version of the Audi A8. It looks a lot like the standard car, but it has a more aggressive front end, apparently. S8 badges at the front and rear, new alloy wheels and quad exhaust pipes. All pretty boring, all pretty ordinary. And if you're doing your best right now to stifle a yawn, then I wouldn't blame you. But that, that's no ordinary car. That might just be the best car in the world. Oh yeah. Now I know it might sound a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna explain systematically what makes this car so good. What's the one thing you need in a luxury car? Good suspension, right? Good, well, Audi have got you covered with the S8 because this car uses the best suspension system I've ever seen, bar none. It has a camera that scans the road ahead. If it sees a speed bump, it will actively lift the suspension in the air to virtually jump over the speed bump. To show you how good the system is, I'm gonna do a live demonstration. I have a little receptacle and I have a bottle of water. I'm gonna fill it up with water and show you, first of all, how a normal car would tackle a speed bump without a predictive suspension system. Normal speeds, I've got the cameras blocked off so the car can't see. This is probably a bad idea, but I've got to show you. Water everywhere, unsurprisingly. But what happens when we allow the system to work as it's supposed to? Time to engage Comfort Plus mode and unblock the cameras to illustrate the difference. Now let's top up our little water receptacle and I'm gonna show you exactly how the Audi S8 tackles speed bumps. There's one coming up right here. Now I'm going at pretty much the exact same speed. In theory, it should just ride it, watch. Hoo -hoo. How amazing is that? What you're seeing here might look like magic, but it's reality. The S8 uses small electric motors to lower or lift the car within five tenths of a second whenever it sees a bump, effectively jumping over anything it doesn't like the look of. The best suspension in the world? Quite probably. What else do you need in a luxury car? Well, you need it to be quiet, right? They've got you covered in that area too. See, most cars will use sound deadening material, a bunch of foam and other stuff that basically stop the metal from resonating noise into the cabin. But this goes a step further. They've also added foam into the tires to help reduce road noise. But if this car has pretensions to be the best car in the world, it needs to go further. And it does. The S8 uses active engine mounts that can absorb vibration from the engine so you don't feel a thing. On top of that, it uses active noise cancellation. Four microphones in the headlining listen for undesirable frequencies in the cabin, while the speakers play a precisely opposing sound and the two waves cancel each other out. That makes the S8 essentially a giant pair of very expensive headphones on wheels. So the technology in the S8 is very clever, but it also makes your life easier on a day-to-day -day basis. That fancy suspension isn't just there to make it more comfortable going over speed bumps. It also does this. When I open the doors, it will raise the ride height by two inches to make it easier to get inside. It basically reduces the distance your bum has to travel before it reaches these gorgeous leather seats. Once you're in, you'll realize that the SA is as much about driving as it is about being driven. So there's loads of room back here. This is the short wheelbase version, but they also make a long wheelbase model with even more space. In terms of practicality, it's not actually that good. The door bins are quite small, and even though you get a little bit of storage in the center console, it's only really large enough for a mobile phone. But there are two very stylishly deployed cup holders. Maybe the coolest thing back here though is a little control panel that lives in the center console. You press a button and it deploys and allows you to control various settings in the back of the car, including lights, radio, media playback, the sound quality from the incredible Bang & Olufsen sound system, and even a set of blinds. Audi will fit as many or as few gadgets as you can stomach in the back of your S8. These include rear seat entertainment, a fridge that can keep food warm and drinks cold, a mobile espresso machine, and a footrest that can give your tired feet a massage. Up front is arguably just as impressive as the rear. The materials are first rate and the build quality is spot on. However, 
there isn't that much space to keep your stuff. The door pockets are annoyingly small. In the center compartment, there's almost no space for almost anything, but you do get a wireless charging pad for your mobile phone and a couple of USB ports, plus some cup holders. However, the star of the show, once again, is the technology. It's all first-rate stuff in here. The infotainment and climate control are operated by touch with haptic feedback confirming every selection. And the vents are motorized and open and closed at the swipe of a finger. The B&O sound system is absolutely sublime and is especially effective in a car as quiet as this. As expected, the S8 uses Audi's virtual cockpit, which lets you view your speed, revs, driving information, as well as a huge map of your location and navigation instructions on the screen in front of you. It's all very impressive. But as impressive as those gadgets might be, the gadgets are not the thing that make this car so special. No, the thing that makes this car so special is the thing that lives underneath the bonnet. And what lives under the bonnet is a four litre bi-turbo V8 with 570 horsepower. The same engine you get in a Lamborghini. It might look like a boring old luxury saloon, but it just goes like you wouldn't believe. It's an absolute animal. 0 to 60 happens in 3.8 seconds. And if it wasn't limited to 155, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing wouldn't hit 200. It's that quick. You put your foot down and it just explodes. It's so quick, this thing. It's quicker than any Countach, quicker than any Diablo, it's almost as quick as a Urus. It's ridiculous. And the torque is 650 newton meters, so it always feels strong, always feels willing to accelerate and just launch itself at the horizon. Look at this thing. It looks like butter wouldn't melt. It's quick enough to melt your face. Performance like this is 10 a penny, of course. Almost everything these days is quick in a straight line, but the S8 loves a corner too. That fancy suspension system doesn't just help you over speed bumps, it also helps you through the bends. Leave it in comfort mode and the suspension will, depending on how fast you're traveling, either keep the car as flat as possible to minimize body roll, or at certain speeds, it will actively lean into the corners. It's so weird, look at this. You go into a right-hand bend and it leans right. You go into a left-hand bend, it leans left. It's a limo that thinks it's a superbike. It's an Audi that thinks it's an Aprilia. It's such a big lump of a car, the SA. You've got the power, you've got the speed, you've got the suspension, but there are a couple of other tricks up its sleeve. One of them is all wheel steering, and that works by turning the rear wheels in the opposite direction to the front wheels at low speeds, or in the same direction at high speeds. And the effect is that it makes the car feel a lot more small and agile than you might expect. And it really works. It's a limo that does a really good impression of a supercar. The S8 obviously uses Audi's Quattro system, which gives you all-wheel drive with a 60-40 power split, most power going to the rear. But then you've got the Audi Sport differential, and that can send almost all the torque from one wheel or the other on the rear axle. How it works is when you're in a corner, it can send almost all the torque to the outside wheel to help the nose tuck in and minimize understeer, and it really does work. At certain points, the car actually feels quite tail happy. It's a really lively, really dynamic, really engaging car to drive this thing. So much fun. I've driven some really amazing cars this year, some really sweet handling stuff. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that this thing, this two-ton monster of a saloon, is right up there with the best of them. In fact, I'm gonna go one step further. The S8 is the best luxury saloon I've ever driven. It's that good. But is it the best car in the world? Well, that of course depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a car that attracts attention, that stands out, then this luxury sleeper won't be your cup of tea. But if you need a car that tries and for the most part succeeds in delivering a tremendously well-rounded driving experience, then there aren't many that do a better job. 
It's incredibly luxurious. It has a wealth of almost space age technology. It has supercar pace and it handles like a dream. For me, it's certainly the ultimate sleeper. Is it the ultimate car? I'll let you be the judge.